Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gotta Gut. We're again cooking Japanese today. We're cooking scallops with a um, blood orange and ginger dressing. And what we're putting on top of them is a chanterelle sukemono. It's basically pickled chanterelles because it's autumn, it's mushroom season. So I thought we'll, we'll combine seafood with something seasonal. As you can see, most of this is already done. So we'll first have a look at how I pickle the chanterelles. We have 100 grams of rice vinegar, 200 grams of water, 60 grams of sugar, 20 grams of salt, five grams of bonito flakes, and some chanterelles. And this is what's called the tsukemono. Tsukemono is kind of preserved vegetables, um, well, pickled vegetables. So we start with making the pickling juice, and for that we need to move over to the stove. So in here we put our 200 grams of water, our 100 grams of vinegar, rice vinegar, the 60 grams of sugar, and the 20 grams of salt. And we'll let this come to a boil, and then we're going to add the bonito flakes in here, and let that sit for 10 minutes off the heat. And then we need to strain it all. It's come to a boil, so we'll turn it off. And we'll put in the katsu bushi, the bonito flakes. Now we'll let this stand for at least 10 minutes. We'll even take it off the heat. So let's strain this. All the goodness. And we put it back into the pot. And bring it to a boil again. So it's basically boiling again. We put in our chanterelles and we cleaned this nicely before. And now we'll let it stay in there for a minute. Let it come to a proper boil again. And that's it. Our tsukemono is done. We can turn it off and we'll let it cool. So relatively easy. And now let's have a look at how we made the blood orange and ginger dressing. So for our blood orange and ginger dressing, we need some ginger. It's about five grams, one clove of garlic, both of them grated, because I think that kind of gives more taste. Put in 60 grams of blood orange juice, 60 grams of rice vinegar, and 40 grams of soy sauce. Give this a quick mix. And now we'll let this sit for about 10 minutes and then we sieve it and then the oil comes with it. That's uh, 60 grams of uh, grapeseed oil. Any natural oil, will, natural in taste will work. So we've been letting this sit for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna strain it because the blood orange and the ginger and the garlic, as you see there's some left in there. And now it's time to add the oil. You can add it all at once. And that's our blood orange and ginger dressing. And last but not least, I'll just show you quickly how I prepare the scallops. What I like to do with the scallops is just kind of dry them off with kitchen paper. And then normally on a scallop, I don't know if you can see it, but you see this part here? That's the muscle. And you can eat it, but it's not that tasty. Well, it doesn't taste different, but it has a different texture. So I like to just separate the muscle. And that goes really quick. So once we have separated our muscles, we just want to kind of cut them. In thin slices. Now that we've seen that, it's, we're basically ready to plate. We can put the scallops into the dressing, because I prefer that than just putting the dressing over. Making sure that all of them get dressing on them. They tend to kind of stick a little bit together, so make sure that you get dressing everywhere. And that's it. And now we can start plating. So 
So that's the scallops. Now for the chanterelles. Like that. And last but not least, a little bit of chopped chives on top. And there we are, our orange, blood orange and ginger marinated scallops with some pickled chanterelles. It's time to taste this beauty. Get a bit of everything on there. It is so good. Mm. It might sound funny, but I would explain it as the creaminess of the scallop. The scallop gives you kind of a very creamy feeling in your mouth. And there's a freshness of the blood orange and the ginger. There's so much umami from the mushrooms. It's, it's, it's a perfect starter, especially now in autumn, if you're gonna cook kind of game or something like that, where you make it relatively heavy with, with some kind of cream sauce or something like that. This is really a nice starter for that because it's light, it's refreshing. I just love it. And you can use the pickle juice that we made. You can use the pickle basically anything. Uh, so it's a, it's a good recipe to have. In this case, we did chanterelles, but anything goes. That's it for this time. Thank you very much. But before I go, as always, if you stuck with me this far, please hit the like button below. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, check the little bell icon. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.